phone running out of storage. Ain't that some shit? But anyway, um, they were trying. To, they were coming up with the pilot. Of, but yeah, uh, who else to speak about spirituality in a TV show uh, or a movie or whatever than women? Because we uh, black, especially a group of black women, like we are mystical people. And that idea literally was shut down by everybody saying that, oh, they would try to say that um, all the Christian people wouldn't be on board for it and all this, that, and the third. But I tell you one thing, I bet you a whole bunch of Christian people used to watch Passions and Passions featured a witch on the show. Um, Now to get down to the positive music that used to come out back in my day, back in the early 2000s. I remember I had uh, the Destiny's Child album. And there was a song on there called Happy Face. And it was such a beautiful song, very upbeat, very positive, very positive. I woke up this morning, the sunshine was shining. I put on my happy face. I'm living, I'm able, I'm breathing, I'm grateful to put on my happy face. I would listen to that song way more than I would listen to the song that was on the radio that came out of that um the off of that album because it was such a beautiful song. It would make you happy. It, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty. It was a beautiful song. All of them got to sing on it and everything. But I feel like after that. You started to hear less and less about Destiny Child and more and more about just Beyonce. Then another song, Eve, Love is Blind. That song, yeah, they played it on the radio, but it seemed like after Eve came out with the song Love is Blind, that's when they started showing her, um, they, her sex tape was leaked, apparently. And then little by little, you start, uh, Eve started to get less and less shine. And she literally, I feel like she stopped doing music because of that and wanted to create a different image for herself. And that's why she started doing movies and TV. Um, Jada Kiss, the song Why. Same thing happened with him. After he came out with the song Why, um, you started hearing less and less of his music. And he literally had to go underground to get himself back together. But I look at it like this. Why are they stopping all the positive things? And steadily pushing the more negative music. Because Jada Kiss, I love that song. He's a great rapper. And that song was, it, it was a way for America, especially black America, to take a look back at itself and say, what am I doing wrong and what do I need to change things? Now, soul music is gone. Completely gone. They changed it to contemporary for whatever reason. I don't know why. But I look at it like this. It was better when you had, the, the music was better when you had it labeled the soul music. Singers like uh, India Ari and Jill Scott, she made a, never mind. Um, damn, what's her name? Not Vivian Green, Vivian something another, emotional roller coaster. It seems like all music that expresses feelings in a, in dealing with your feelings in a positive way, Life Jennings, he's gone. That was the the best male soul singer that was putting out music. To help the family stay together. Matter of fact, I want to say his last popular song was Let's Stay Together. Don't do it for the kids. Do it for me. You know what I'm saying? It's things like that that certain people out here could hear. You know what I'm saying? And let it resonate with their own selves because that's what music and, and art is supposed to be. You're supposed to take it and you're supposed to flip it on the side and really analyze it and put it to good use in your own life. And now that soul music is literally is gone and it's turned into contemporary music. Literally, I haven't even heard any soul music. They say uh, SCA or whatever the fuck her name is. And Jasmine Sullivan, she does do still do um, soulful type music, but she mixes it with a little bit of hip hop. <clears throat> but still, is Jasmine Sullivan getting her flowers? No, she's not. Because everybody wants to twerk. No one wants to sit down and listen to be in love. Where the fuck is love music? I used to remember, it used to be a pattern. And I'd be like, I bet you... Around August and September, that's when all the slow songs would always come out. I could time that shit because technically in the in the fall and winter months, that's cuffing season. Where's the cuffing music? There's no more cuffing music. Now the big thing is drill music and twerk music. Ain't no cuffing season music? No, because now all those people that sung it, now they want to do porn and shit. Y'all ain't seen no, y'all didn't notice that. But, um, and my last thing is just a thought cursive. I just realized that cursive, uh, that they're not teaching cursive anymore. And I look at it like this cursive 
back in our day, whenever we used to write notes and stuff to each other, especially like on a boyfriend girlfriend tip, that was the most beautiful thing in the world to let somebody just sit down and put their feelings out on paper and make it look beautiful and all this, that, and the third. But they don't do that anymore. So if they're not doing cursive, which cursive is supposed to be the uh, quickest and most efficient way to write because you're, the letters are together, why aren't we doing that anymore? Probably because we're never going to have to write anymore. Well, especially after this next generation. We're not going to be writing letters to anyone. Everyone's going to be online. Everything's going to be online. I'm speaking fast because apparently my phone is running out of space. This video is going to be short. But I appreciate y'all. Like, share, comment. Let's talk about this. If you feel like um, I'm wrong, let's talk about this. Whatever. All right. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one.